Hi, Chem Team. Uh, because the electrons that surround central atoms are all negative, uh, they repel each other and molecules can form different shapes. Uh, the most simple of these shapes is a linear molecule, which occurs when a central atom, like carbon, bonds to two separate elements. Uh, and when this occurs, the two groups of bonding electrons surrounding carbon uh, repel each other as far away from each other as possible and form a straight 180 degree angle. And you can see we represent that here using lines to represent shared orbitals. Uh, and also of note, uh, all diatomic molecules are linear. They're just simple line segments. Uh, the next type of molecule is a bent molecule. For instance, a water molecule shown here as bent. Uh, and at first glance, a bent molecule looks like a linear molecule because it has uh, two uh, atoms coming off of a central atom. Okay, so we might say that these hydrogens look linear. However, in three dimensions, what you will see is that the central atom has lone pairs of electrons which repel the two other elements, uh, bending them together. And if we tried to unbend them, the lone pairs of electrons would repel them back. So we'll show that here. Uh, now to represent this shape on two dimensions of paper, you'll notice that we can use a dashed line to show these valence electrons that are moving away from us. And we can use a triangle to show these two uh, electrons that are jutting out toward us, this lone pair moving toward us. Uh, the next type of molecule is a trigonal planar molecule, which occurs when three different elements bond to a single central atom. So in this case, a carbon bond to two hydrogens and an oxygen. Uh, and these three groups of electrons will repel as far away from each other as possible, which in this case is 120 degrees. Uh, and this molecule gets its name from uh, the three elements attached, tri and trigonal, and planar because these three atoms are on the same plane. That is, they're relatively flat. A trigonal pyramid molecule, on the other hand, uh, also has three atoms bonded to a central atom. However, the central atom also has a lone pair of electrons which will repel the three bonded atoms downward. That is, they're not on a flat plane. The three elements repel down into a pyramid shape. Uh, and we can see that here, this lone pair of electrons uh, repelling the three elements downward. Uh, and the last shape is a tetrahedral molecule, which occurs when a central atom is bonded to four different elements. Tetrahedral molecules get their name from uh, the root tetra, which means four. And you can see that these molecules form this tetrahedral shape, which again we represent uh, using this triangle to show the element that is coming toward us, and using this dashed line to show the element that is coming back and away from us. And that's it. At this point, you guys have a couple of practice problems. We'll see you in class tomorrow.